I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finia myself. A good plan. Church. Someone there? Uh, 
You are the stone, and the stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of Briars. If you have a problem with me, show yourself. We obey the Lord of Crowland, trespasser. Leave or die. I'm not going anywhere until you cowards show your poxy faces. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! Muddy Kingdom. We will fight for this muddy kingdom, tooth and nail. I 
want you to know that you can be like me. No, I, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my gods. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed. No longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. I want you to know that you can be like me. No, you seem lost and homeless. Make of mine what you will. You could burn it to the ground and it will not change. I want you to know that you can be like me. No longer dumb and angry like Ethan's. <laughs> Make up higher of the past. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen, lost and violent. Heathen!
Norwich, suffering hard times, I see. What's happening? Finia? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finia, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. The settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. You just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. 
then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they are sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. No one would say that. It doesn't make any sense. Mm, that one could use some work. Well, what a surprise! Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. there you like that it could be yours This will strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. One of my better pieces. You should always be fully stocked. You wouldn't regret getting this. Leaving already? Shame. I will see you later, friend. Let's see you, old friend.
squashed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It was. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Hafton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. The smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. The guards here are vigilant. as we thunder by. It makes my guts all wobbly with glee. I never knew you as a man given to verse. Uh. Yeah.
Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. It takes more than a feast to impress a Dane. If you want to marry into this family, you must become one as well. I'd be a troll's groom if it helped the people of this kingdom. Only tell me how. I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. You can go. Hey, Lord, you wish to die. <laughs> A health you seem in town. This Oswald has done well for himself. Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Been here, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it, but you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Brother. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, wolf kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! She called us flaccid! Limp, weak, soft! Ridiculous! Sir! how we settle disputes in East Anglia. Brother, stop this or I'll have both your asses. Calm 
yourselves! Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Say well, Swala. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. <laughs>